Hey guys, it's me, Eric Dunn, and welcome back to my channel, and I have a story for you guys. So if you have been watching my Snapchat, yesterday we had this um, drill, which wasn't a drill, um, so let's get started. So my school is really big, so we're going to go to the west side of the tower, I think it's called. It's called the west side of the tower, so there's three floors. There is the bottom floor where the 6th graders are, there's the main floor with the 8th graders, and the top floor where the 7th graders where we are. So we have five classes a day. We have first period, connections, which is like band or art or like connections. Then we have third, fourth, what? Oh yeah, we have second, third, then fourth period. So I have math, art and band. Then I have language arts, social studies, and science at the end. So this happened around my third period. It was about 2.30ish until this girl announced this. Attention, there's a tornado warning in our area and we need to go to our safety zone when the alarm sounds. So, um, of course, my teacher says everybody needs to line up at this time so we all get up, start going to our doors just to line up. Announcement came on over the intercom which it goes, attention. Like, like in the warning says like, there's a tornado warning around our area, please go to your safety zone. And there's usually an alarm that sounds like this. And for some reason, that alarm didn't sound. As we know, when there's a tornado drill, you know there has to be an alarm because, yeah. So, there was no alarm. People were just like walking to their safety zone. So, my safety zone is, uh, we go to the 8th grade hallway. We go down the stairwell from the sides of the school. So it's basically, we go here, we go straight, then we turn a right and go straight. After that, there's a like double doors, which there's stairs there, which you turn another right. You go under the stairs, turn another right, go down. Then when we reach down to the stairwell, the stairway, and there's like another floor. So when we get to that floor, if you guys were confused, here's my room. We have to go to here, down these stairwells. Then we have to go down this hallway and here where we were. We have to turn a left to go to the 8th grade hallway. So we turn left, we go all the way straight for like uh, at least a few feet away from the doors. Then there's a hallway where the bathrooms are, like the boys bathroom and the girls bathroom and like the water fountain. So we go to that hallway and we're like in front of the bathrooms, we hit down and this is like so scary. As we're going to go sit down to do the duck and cover uh, motion, the lights literally shut off. It, boom, everybody started screaming, yelling and the lights went on and like, oh, whatever. Then it started flickering and everybody started talking and all the teachers like, calm down people, it's okay, you're like the safest place you can be right now. And all these students are like started to cry because the lights keep flickering on. Then the backup generator lights went on, then it completely, I mean, I couldn't see one inch in front of me, the lights turned off, like total blackness. I can see nothing in front of me, like, Lights turn off, all the students were like quiet because they want to hear like what's going to say. All the teachers would say, it's okay, don't worry, we're going to get this straightened in. Then like a few seconds later, this goes on. Yes, the fire alarm went off and it's completely dark. So the only thing we can see now is the fire alarm and the lights flashing from like the strobes from the fire. So that's the only source of light we could see. Oh my, it was total chaos. All the teachers like, okay, dug and cover, it's okay. The alarm just got off because the power went out, it's okay. And while the alarm is going off, the teachers said to take out your phones and turn on your flashlights. 
So that's what some people did because, you know, not everybody has a phone. So we all took our flashlights. And you know me, Eric. I started recording. So on Snapchat, I recorded um, some of the scenes, which I'm going to put it um, in the end of the video. Not right now, but in the end of the video. So I got my phone, I started recording, and um, one of my language arts teacher came up to me and said, Eric, are you on your phone? Because at the time, the teacher said, do not, get, do not go on your phone until it's clear. So me, I'm like, yeah. So me, I was just like, no. It's, this, she couldn't see my face since we're like in a duck and cover situation. So the only thing she could hear is just my voice saying no. Even though I was on my phone recording on Snapchat, I was like, help. Like, literally, I was so scared. Me and my friend, she she was like, oh my god, are we, we going to die? So after a while, the fire alarm has turned off because it's like a timer. It's like 10-minute timer of the fire alarm or something. And um, the teachers are like, it's okay. You could talk to your neighbors. It's fine. Like, everything's okay. So we, me and my friends just started talking normally. And this girl on the intercom said, um, the severe thunderstorm has or tornado warning has come down you may now like stand like sit against the wall if you want or lay on the flat on the ground so that's what we did i just sat against the wall after like 20 20 to 10 minutes the the lady on the intercom said that they're gonna get to try to get the power back on because you know in every horror movie you want the power to go out and the fire line going off because horror movies are scary um, if you have seen The Gallows, the movie The Gallows, there's this part when the boy pulls the, I think it's the boy or the girl, pulls the fire alarm and the lights just start flicking. It's just like that scene. It's all dark, you can't see anything until you pull that fire alarm and just flashing lights. Like, literally, it felt like a photo shoot. Like, they're taking pictures. So, in conclusion, the fire alarm went out. I mean, the power went out, the back back uh, generator just didn't turn on. The fire alarm went off at the same time, which made it 10 times scarier. And fourth, um, the fire alarm went out, and it was just completely darkness. Just our, the only light source in that building was our phones. There, or like the teacher's flashlights, but they didn't even help at all. But the only light source at the school was just our phones, like literally nothing. So we just stay there, just like whispered to each other. The teacher's like, it's okay. Some of the teachers were talking to the kids that were crying just to make them feel any feel any more better. Because, you know, in a situation like that, there has to be at least a few people that start crying. Do the teachers just say, just be on your phone, just do anything you want. And, um, yeah, that's basically what happened. A tornado warning had been situated in our area, which we had to go to our dug and cover situation. And that's basically everything. But if you were there, it's most of half of your my subscribers are from school. Hello, shout out, peace. And um, if you were there, you will be like scary, just like really scared because the power went out and the fire alarm get out, like. Duh, that was like my dream. I was actually living my dream. In fact, I actually had a dream of this, which I'll do a story time about that next time. But I did have a dream about this, and yeah, it's just done. This is the end of the video. Remember to hit that big thumbs up button right below. It's free. And subscribe if you want to. And um, remember to comment down below any suggestions just down below me. Just send any suggestions for the next video. And one more thing, another giveaway will be when we hit 500 subscribers, but I know we're not going to make it until next year, so yeah. I'll see you next week, and this is Eric, Dallas, and I'll bring you guys out. Bye! I'm so scared. We're on their tornado lockdown trail. This is not a drill. We're on their tornado lockdown trail. I'm so scared the power went out and the fire alarm is going off. Help.